Heather from Hooked Up Picking. I got another palette. It is an assorted shoe palette of shoes not in boxes. So I'm really curious to see exactly what kind of condition these are in and whether or not they're going to be resellable. All right, so this is a little bit of a mystery unboxing for me. All I know is it's an assorted palette. I n didn't even get a chance to see pictures from inside this palette. It was totally kind of a roll the dice and buy the palette. This is a Via Trading palette of assorted shoes. I paid $450 for it. It shipped to me for $95, total of $545 with 150 pairs in it. Let's see, hopefully they all match and they all go together. For a total of $3.63 per pair. I know there's probably gonna be a couple damaged in there, so roughly about $4 a pair is kind of what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and get in here and see the condition of all of the shoes. Alrighty, let's see. How many do you think will have different sizes or not matches? All right, so these are in pretty good condition, I think. Um, they still have the tags on them. They're zip tied together, thankfully. Um, I think they're in good condition. So I'm just gonna kind of start stacking them on the table, let you guys look at them while I unbox them. So here's a pair. These look awfully dirty. I don't know if it's just from being in the warehouse or what. And we've got some kid shoes there. I love the cute little face on those. Some pink sparkly kid shoes. Here's some more women's. I don't want to do like a kid table. Okay. We'll move all the kid shoes over. Where? Here maybe. All the shoes. Look at all the shoes. Oh my word, look at these. These are adorable. I'm sorry, but why was a toddler need winter boots that look like that? They can't even walk when their feet are that size. Yeah, is it a fox? What did the fox say? What did it say? Ring ding 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 ding. Apparently. Yes. Okay. Now we're getting demonetized. Yes. All right. Look at these tiny shoes. Come over here and look at these tiny shoes. These are tiny, tiny shoes. Tiny, tiny, tiny. All right, I'm gonna get only kids' shoes out right now. So Okay, I feel like <laughs> I'm going to get some shoes out right now. That is awesome. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Look, it's a new ornament for my Christmas tree. He has fun with shoes. Yes. All right. So I'm looking at these pink ones going, hey, look, we've regressed back into the 90s with jelly shoes. Now, I know, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I had to wear jelly shoes. Why did our parents make us wear those? They always put blisters on our feet. Why did we think they were cool? Were we trying to torture ourselves? Answer the question in the comments below. What, did you wear jelly shoes? Did you get blistered? And why did we do it? What was your reasoning for wearing the painful jelly shoes? Hey, look, I've got two of the same pair, different sizes. These are two of the same pair, different sizes, size four, size five. So that's actually good. I don't like to get the same sizes because they end up um, just kind of stacking up and not selling as quickly. Here's some more painful jelly shoes. I feel like I have, I feel, I feel like all of a sudden I have anger issues about jelly shoes. Are they all tangled up? Yeah, they're all tangled. Here's some slippers. Women's well, slippers. At least they still have their, their tags. Still yeah, together, and know? they're still attached. Seriously. That would be a nightmare if they weren't attached. <sighs> I know that's bad looking, but still, it's better than not having a match tags, you know? or trying to find or trying to match oh, them man. after the fact. That'd be a puzzle we don't want to put together. Nope. All right, there's some there's some blue suede shoes over there. Okay. Kids yeah, kids' water shoes. Here's some really cute little kid heels. Yeah, something like that. Here's some more tennis shoes for kids. I'm seeing lots of Cat and Jack, which is okay. 
fish. It's okay. A lot of times I'll make one or two dollars. Yeah, I'll make one or two dollars on Cat and Jack shoes, but generally not more than that. The the women's shoes and the men's shoes, I can be around the ten to twenty dollar profit margin on those. So, okay, that one's not coming out. Here's some winter boots. Good time of the year to be selling winter boots right now. Here's some. This original retail is forty dollars on these. Those are really cute. Yeah. I like them. Ooh, they're my size. Will I keep them or will I sell them? I'm in the reseller business. I'm selling those bad boys. All right. That's my criteria for keeping things. How much is it worth? Okay, I'll sell it. How much is it worth? Not much? Okay, I'll keep it. Awesome. It feels like more than 150 pair. It does feel like more than 150 pair. We'll have to count them up and see how many we actually get. You know they can't hear you when you're whispering because I'm not I'm microphoned, right? I like to whisper. He's whispering over here. And I'm like, you can't hear you. You're not microphoned. I don't whisper. Actually, here's the question. Can you hear him whispering? I'm sure I'm, we I'm a loud whisperer. Loud whisperer. I always have been. Always been the guy that tries to whisper to his wife and then Oh, it's bad. We'll be sitting and we'll be sitting like like at a sporting event or something and he'll be like oh my word did you see what and i'm like stop talking so loud they can hear you I probably need to hear it yeah you probably need hearing it. Ooh, what are these oh man i need these in my life golden slip-on embroidered 24 floor. Karat gold shoes 24 karat rose gold shoes they were trying to sell them for $25 originally. Mm. You know you need these in your life. I say we jack the price up to $2,500. $2,500 shoes right there. Sure. Would you buy a $2,500 pair of shoes? Yeah, would you buy $2,500 pair of shoes? I personally would not. Ooh, here's some kid sandals. Now, the cool thing is that um, sandals and stuff might sell good right now because people will still go on vacation, but it's getting close to winter time, and so you can't find any of that in the stores. Oh, no! We've got a stray. It has no friend. Mm, will we find the mate? Okay, we're going to leave our little friend here, see if we can find the match. Could be a large problem. To me, they look like they're mostly Target shoes right now. Yeah, looks like it to me. Because Cat and Jack is definitely kids' yeah, Target brand. There was one brand over there I didn't <laughs> I need help! Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. This is going to be a hot mess. You can't whisper. You don't have a microphone on. He's back. Can you hear him whispering? The, the, he's trying to take a close up. That's what he's saying. If, all right. I got them all untangled. Look. Beautiful. So good at that. All right, got some duplicates here, which will be nice because then the listing will be fast to make and then I can just do variations. One picture of one shoe as long as they're all in the same condition. And then moving on with life. Which one would I wear? These ones? I could see you wear those. I don't know what size they are. They're 11, they're too big for me. Eat more, your feet will grow. Eat more, my feet will grow. No, I don't think it works that way. I love these. Come over here and look at these dinosaur, or are they shark boots? Ooh, you can call them on Poshmark baby shark boots. Look. Oh, my. Call them baby shark boots. Are they sharks or are they dinosaurs? I can't tell. Little monsters? Oh, I'm calling them shark boots just to sell them. I feel like there's more than 150 shoes in here. Listen, 
you know you need these shoes right here. Look at these. Look at these. You need these right here. Those right there? Yep, those right there. I could wear those when I preach. You should. With your suit. Ooh, like these? <laughs> yes, indeed. Shimmer and shine. Shimmer and shine shoes. There's a chance those go for a little more because they're themed. Yeah. Here's some unicorn ones. Is that being clearance? Yeah. We still like unicorn shoes. Oh, man. I feel like the Tin Man's wife would own these. Yes, indeed. Very shiny. Very shiny. You know, okay, so I'm like standing here, yeah, here. I'm standing here judging the shoes, but I pulled out a pair of silver flat mule shoes is what they were called. And I was like, these are hilarious. No one will ever buy them. And they blew out of my store. Yeah, like everybody bought the silver shoes. So whether they're my style or not, <laughs> somebody, somebody likes them. All right, I'll just be over here untangling while you guys find the pair of shoes you guys want to buy from my Poshmark store. What do you think the quality is so far? I think the quality is pretty good. Um, I see a few scuffs on a few of them, but they may just be able to be wiped out. Um, but so far, I think they're decent. I like that we've got more women's shoes than initially pulled out. We pulled out quite a few kids' shoes, though. That's a little bit disappointing to me just because I know I don't make a ton on kids' shoes overall anyway but some of them are pretty trendy looking kid shoes like boots and stuff like that and some of the theme shoes that are iridescent sneakers and things like that but um so i'll have to look them over real well just to get good get a good bead on them So lots and lots of kids' shoes for sure. So put in the comment section below, what do you think are the cutest kids' shoes that you see there? Oh my goodness, I found the cutest ones. Look at these. They're so tiny. Tiny little babies. Little babies. Why would you put your baby in shoes? I don't think my kids were ever this small. No. At least they feel like they were never this small. Very fat babies. Very fat babies. Healthy. healthy, chunky monkeys what we had I'm, I'm i'm having technical difficulties over here paul look it's gonna take a while so nice lady shoes There's some purple ones those are some long shoes what size are those they are women's size 12. I bet it's hard to find. I bet I bet it's hard to find size 12. Yeah, they might sell well just because of the size. I don't know if these are women's sketchers or kids. Yeah. Six and a half. Yeah. They're just smaller women's shoes. These look kind of beat up unless they're supposed to look like that. Originally they were forty dollars. Nineteen ninety six yeah. is what they were clearance to. Okay. These look a little beat up, but I don't know, they almost I think look they're made you think they're made to be that way? I still haven't find my found my uh, match to my little baby shoe. I only have one of some nice white flats for women. Oh look, I found one of these. One. One Lone Ranger here. I wonder how many I'll find that only have one so shoe. Far, we've got two. That two. Have one. Two that came unattached. Yep. Ooh, these are cute. Good shots are still in here. I would totally wear these. 
but they're too big for me. Oh. Size 10s. Yeah. Those are cute. Yeah, eight, eight and a half. To tell my friend Bethany, I got these cute boots that are size 10s. She's always on the hunt for size 10s. She's super tall. Some tennis shoes. I think these are men's, these white ones. Lots of shoes left. Lots and lots of shoes left. It really does feel like there's more than 150. We'll have to count them when we're done. How many do you guys think are going to be in it? Guesses right now. I'll look at the timestamp. Guesses. What do you? Oh no! But I see one that might match it. I was getting worried. Look at those. Yep, that one came undone, but yeah, it's there. They're called surprise shoes. Look at the little logo on the back of them. It's a crazy little face. See a face there? On the end of the E. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. It's like surprise your baby's walking. Surprise your baby's walking. And they have feet tiny. Tiny little feet. Well, these are not resellable. Look at them. They're like dirty. What is that dust? Because I mean, they still have the tag, so surely somebody didn't walk around to put them with a tag on it. They're just awful dirty. Maybe we can take a wet wipe and clean Maybe. them up. These are kids's. Running out of room on the kids' table here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. These are neat. Little stripey ones. Ooh, we've got some of these. White ones over there. I started putting some on the floor because we were running out of room on the tables. These aren't coming apart. If somebody wants to buy one of these birds shoes, what should they do? They should go to Poshmark and find them there at my Poshmark store at Paul Hooks or um, in the link in the description below you can find them. So I may sell some of them on Hooked on Pickin. We'll see. Ooh, I found some more silver shoes. Same exact kind. All right, we're gonna keep going. I've tripoded it so that I can just kind of take off and go crazy. Some black men's shoes. Start making a stack down here. Some women's browns. Ooh, I've sold some of, that look like this. So I may already have still the listing on Poshmark. One thing I did notice on Poshmark is that if you um, list something and you only say one I single item, you can't go back and edit it if you run out of that item and end up with zero. But if you put multiple listings, even if you just have one pair of shoes, you can go back and edit it and add them after um, the last item has sold. So that's an option to keep in mind if you're a Poshmark lister. Oh, bummer. These look like they've clearly been cut by box cutter. That's a bummer. All righty. So this is going to kind of go, I'm going to put this off to the side on a middle chair because that's definitely clearly unsellable. Some cute little baby shoes. I'm going to take the camera around at the end and kind of show you what all we have. Make sure we count up all the shoes and see are there actually 150. Um, and that'll kind of give us a number of how much each one was worth. So we're just going to keep unboxing all these. Some kid shoes, some really cute women's shoes. Need to make three rows here on the adults table. There, now we can fit more on there. Still looking for the pairs to this shoe and this one. We have not found those yet. So we're gonna keep on the hunt. 
Some women's bronze color sandals, size eight. Some cute little canvas shoes, size six. Some star shoes, looks like. Yeah, they're little canvas shoes that have basically cut out star holes, size 11s. Cute ones. I keep saying everything is cute. Everything's cute, adorable, sweet. Baby shoes, little kid star shoes. Put some over here. Kind of give you the tour at the end there. All right, some winter boots. Perfect time of the year to be selling those. Oh, here's another pair of those star ones. Stick them right next to the first pair. Those are size eights. The other ones were size elevens. We pulled out a pair of these already before. Stick them over here with the matching sets. Those are large size, size eleven. There's some blinged out kid sandals. Little baby blue colored rhinestone sandals. Move this box over here. And then we've got some striped pink kids shoes. And then some brown boots. Another pair of striped pink shoes. Very cute. Like I said, if you're interested in any of these, Poshmark. Here's some more white shoes. Now a lot of these white ones or light colored ones, I've been noticing a lot of scuffs on them. And so we're gonna definitely take the Lysol wipes and see if we can't clean them up a bit, but we'll see. These are not in as good of condition as the palettes that I've bought that have had a 150 boxed set of shoes. But I'll have to kind of compare the sales of these with other ones. Here's some more of those star ones and some blue canvas ones. I'm gonna start a stack kind of under the table too. My floor is somewhat clean. Here's some black flats, ladies black flats. Some water shoes. Those are not worth a ton. Here's some more of the, that white shoe that we keep pulling out. Striped shoes, very cute kids striped shoes. I think we got another pair right over there. Really cute. These are size six. Ooh, a cute pair of wedge heels, size 11s. Here's another pair of size 11 women's boots. Lots of tan size 11 women's dress boots. So what size is that? So that's a size 10. I see a shoe and look, it has no mate. Yay, size 10. We found its mate. Yay. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Some plain, just champion. Um, well, no, not champion. Cushion fit. No, they are champion. Champion nine cushion fit ladies sneakers. Then black flat size seven, along with some kids sandals, cat and jack sandals. Ooh, look at those. Those are a pretty emerald green, aren't they? Size 10 ladies, flats. Those are really cute. 
they look comfortable too because there's the material's really soft. Then we've got some black heels. There's a pair of white flats. I've actually pulled out a pair of black flats um, universal thread in the box and I have those on Poshmark. Here's some more of those uh, surprise shoes, just a larger size of those little baby shoes. And then I've got some universal thread flats. Still haven't, oh look. I was just gonna say, still haven't found the match. Yep, size six, found the match. So far so good. Oh my goodness, look at these tiny little baby sneakers. I just think they're so cute. I don't want any more kids. I love the ones I got. And I like not changing diapers. <laughs> There's some white canvas, cute kids shoes. Some red kids sneakers. Some little pink and black ones for infants. So they've done a good job trying to keep them together. That's for sure. These are Cat and Jack size four kid shoes. Like big kid size four. Another pair of these white ones. But see, look how dirty they are. So I'm really hoping, I mean, it's wiping off pretty good, but I don't know, questionable. We'll have to go around and see which ones need a little TLC with the cleaning up. Here's a bunch of blue sandals. There's a pair there, and then I'm going to pull out a couple more pair of the same style. Now that we're actually on the bottom of the palette, so these are all blue sandals, kid size. Let me show you how far down we are, um, give you a little glimpse at how much we got left. So we have about that much to go. So not too bad. Boy, it feels like way more than 150 as far as number of shoes. So we'll keep going and see where we're at. A pair of ladies' sandals. Another pair of kids' tennis shoes. And we're going to go around and actually count them. We'll count how many kids' shoes, how many adult shoes we have. And then I'll have a total number for you there at the end. There's another pair of those white shoes. Trying to keep them all together so it'd be easier listing when it gets time to list. There's another pair of those silver ones. So these are all tangled. Tangled, tangled. Let's see if we can get them all untangled here. Some leopard print slip-on flats, size 11 for women. And then some black, a new day pair, size 11 as well. Looks like both women's shoes. This is a mess. This is a mess. Okay, I give up. <laughs> There's two pair of shoes right there. I'll untangle them later. All right. Pair of memory foam, sport memory foam, lady sneakers. Then we've got some cute kids dress shoes, little gold with they look like little gold pearls on them. And then I've got another pair here larger size. So this is size two and size three. Good thing I have a lot of tables. Good night. All right. Some slippers. Some size six women's boots and a pair of those little baby tennis shoes. 
the women's boots down here. Some memory foam cushion fit slides. I better not let my kids over here, especially my girls. They'll want to keep all of the cute shoes, and they already have way too many. Here's some more of those star shoes. Some water shoes, kids yellow or kind of greenish yellow and black. A pair of tennis shoes. There's another pair of those slip-on sport shoes. Pink women's sneakers. Ooh, these are cute. Chelsea, not Chelsea, Chelsea little winter boots, size seven and a half. Little plaid ones. Here's some baby shoes. So I'd say 50% of the pallets about is kids' shoes, which is a little bit disappointing. Almost fell into the pallet there. Did you see that? That would have been hilarious. She just done it just for entertainment sake, right? All right. Some canvas shoes. Another pair of white shoes. Okay, these are not attached, but they're right next to each other. So that kind of worked out. Size 11 kid shoes. Another pair of sneakers. One shoe, oh, here's the match. So, so far we've had complete pairs, but these are by the kids' shoes now that we have a set. Okay, this one's unattached, but there's a rubber band here. There we go. Some unicorn shoes and some sneakers. Oh, these are cute. Look at those. So adorable. Little iridescent sandals. Alrighty. Some more kid shoes here. Some more kid shoes here. Almost done. About three more pair in the palette. And then I'm going to take you on a tour for what they all look like. A pair of slippers. Ooh, these are cute. Look at these. Cute pair of women's blinged out size sevens. Here are some of those cushion slides again. And then last but not least, pair of white canvas shoes with no laces. So we're going to stack all these up. I'm going to take you on a tour and then I will count them up and uh, let you know how many there are. All right, here's our tour. Box is empty. Totally empty. There's a random tag. We'll have to see what that goes to. Nine and a half. There are some adult shoes there. This is the one pair that was broken. It looked like it had been cut by a box cutter. And then we've got all of our adult shoes here. So we've got some blue, some gray fuzzy ones. You know you need these in your life. There's a lot of winter boots, not a lot, but a few winter boots, which are cute. Some sandals, which are difficult to find in the stores right now. The silver shoes, which I made fun of, but people will probably buy like hotcakes. Here are the cool star shoes. See how they kind of have the stars cut out. And then we'll kind of wander on over here to the other side. As you can see, my huge table of kids shoes. We'll finish out with adult shoes and then I'll show you all the children's shoes. So we've got some slides down there, 
some boot, some cute plaid boots, some canvas shoes. So far, I'm not super impressed at the quality, although I have always done really well. And remember, we're about $4 in per pair of shoe. And so I think we can definitely make some money. Um, but lots of boots, lots of dress shoes for women, um, gold shoes, tan, some white ones. That one has a big, look like marker mark on it. I don't know if that can be wiped off or not, but we'll see. Here's all those white shoes I was pulling out. And as you can see, they're pretty dusty and dirty. I don't know if they were just in a warehouse. That one looks really gross because it looks like I had something spilled inside of it, but we'll see if we can't get them cleaned up and looking decent. There's some purple ones, some stretch heel boots, some brown boots. If you're interested in any of these, check them out on my Poshmark store. Some flip flops. And then let's wander on over to the kids and see what we've got in the kids section. Some cute gold ones, water shoes, lots of these kinds of uh, sneakers, various sizes. Lots of infant baby sneakers, some cute, these are really cute embroidered uh, white shoes, some glitter, some plain sneakers. These are kind of trendy looking, these little striped ones. Some sandals, good time of the year to sell sandals because it's going into winter. People are still going on vacation, can't find sandals anywhere but online. I love these iridescent infant sandals. Some unicorn boots. And we've got some, what I was calling shark boots, but they're probably just monster boots. I might, I might market them as shark monster boots. Just call them shark monster, baby shark monster boots, because they're for babies. And then you kind of get the baby shark theme. Maybe we'll sell them fast. And so lots of jelly shoes. Let me know, did you wear those jelly shoes when you were younger? And did they hurt your feet? And where were your blisters at? On the heel, on the toes, on the instep? Where did you always get your blisters? some cute other shoes. So I hope you've enjoyed our tour of the palette of assorted shoes, 150 pairs. We actually did end up with 80 pair of adult shoes and 70 pair of kids shoes. So yes, it was 150 pairs of shoes. I saw only one damaged, a couple that I'm gonna have to give a little TLC to make them sellable, but I think we'll do pretty good. Um, I would love your guesstimations on, am I going to make my entire amount of money back? Um, remember, we, paid $5.45 for them for 150 pair, 80 adults, 70 kids, roughly about $4 per pair if you're kind of considering fees and such. So let me know what your thoughts are and how much you think we can make on this assorted palette of shoes from Via Trading. Hopefully it's been helpful to see exactly what condition they're in for assorted shoes in unboxed condition. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. Don't know how to get to Via Trading? Click the link in the description below. Via Trading was also awesome enough to create a coupon code for my viewers only. Use the coupon code HOOKED, shown in the description below. This code will give you $50 off your very first order of $250 or more from Via Trading. You guys are a true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.